New at 11, Chicago police are trying to track down the people who shot and killed a grandmother inside her own home on the far south side. CBS 2's Mugo Odigwe spoke with neighbors who heard the gunshots go off. This morning, the medical examiner's office has identified the woman as 71 year old Emma Wright. Police say she was shot multiple times inside her own home and neighbors tell us in an area where everyone pretty much knew each other, she was well liked and respected. We just heard boom, 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 boom. This woman lives in the same neighborhood where the shooting happened. She won't give us her name, but says the gunshots seemed to go on for a while. Then it stopped, then boom, boom, boom again. And I just slid down off my couch onto the floor. Less than 24 hours later, the evidence of those shots hard to miss. We noticed bullet holes all over the house on South Morgan Street near 108th Street. Neighbors say this is where Emma Wright lived for more than 30 years. It's also where she was shot on Sunday night. This is an elderly woman here. You know, she don't bother nobody or anything. She's, she's, she's very well liked in the neighborhood. So this is really, really sad. According to Chicago police, the shooting was just before 740. Wright was inside her house when two people outside started shooting into her home. She was hit multiple times and was rushed to Christ Hospital in critical condition, but she didn't survive. The neighbor we spoke with says she believes Wright's home was targeted because of another shooting near her house earlier this year. There was something earlier in the summer. They had another issue out here. And a young man um, passed away, unfortunately. Now the hope is that someone will speak up and help police catch the killers. They need to do something with these guns. It's, it's ridiculous. It, it really is, and it makes people afraid. In addition to the woman who spoke to us on camera, another neighbor also tells us this was a targeted shooting. Police have not confirmed that yet, but they're asking anyone who knows anything about the case to contact them. At District 22 Police Station, Mugo Digwe, CBS 2 News.